Hey everyone, it's Steve from ItMakesSenseBlog.com and in today's video, I want to show you the secret tool that pro affiliate marketers use to track every link of their affiliate links and how they can spend more money on advertising than their competition. So you're not gonna wanna miss this video. So let's get started. So the tool that pro affiliate marketers use is a program called Click Magic. Now Click Magic is a tool that allows you to cloak your links, make your affiliate links look prettier, and also um, allows you to track your affiliate links. So why did I get involved in this? Well, as my channel is starting to grow, I'm starting to get affiliate um, commissions. However, I also have a blog, I have Pinterest, I have my email marketing, and as I'm getting sales, and this is a real big mistake that most beginners such as myself made, I had no idea where these sales were coming from. For instance, were they coming from my emails? Were they coming from my Pinterest? Were they coming from my blog? I had no idea. So I wasn't able to go back and try to do more of what was working. I wasn't able to really focus and make better or in, uh, enhance or improve what had produced those commission sales. So I found Click Magic um, on some review sites and I went and took a 14 day free trial. And ever since then, I've absolutely loved um, the program. So being able to tell where your affiliate uh, uh, commissions are coming from is just one reason why you want to try Click Magic. Another is because, let's just face it, uh, affiliate links, let me show you one, can look darn right ugly. So if I just go into here, I just want to show you an affiliate link if you haven't seen one, if you're new to affiliate marketing. So let's go into, um, let's go to ClickFunnels have some pretty ugly links. So for right here, this is an affiliate link right here. Now that's long, it's ugly, and what Click or Click Magic's able to do is take this and make it look pretty and make it look like this. So that is the second reason why you want to look into Click Magic, especially if you're an affiliate marketer. The third reason is because a lot of programs I've found um, don't like affiliate links. For instance, I use Active Campaign and they really don't like affiliate links in their email um, in their emails that go out from you. Facebook. Um, then there's other um, programs that really don't like affiliate links. So this is just a way to mask those affiliate links. So before you get started with using Click Magic, you have to create your own domain because right now, like I'm not going to change this, but if you don't create your own domain, it comes from this www.clickmagic.com and you don't want that. You want it to come from your own branded domain. Now there's two different ways you can do this. Um, you can start a brand new domain or you can create a subdomain of a domain you already own. So to get your domain, I'll leave a link down below, but I'm gonna use Bluehost. And there's two different ways you can do this. One is you can buy a brand new domain or you can use your existing domain and create a subdomain. And I'll show you what both of those mean. So let's first go through purchasing a new domain. I'm not gonna actually purchase a new one because I already did it, but you would go to Bluehost, you would go to domains and you would just purchase a domain. For instance, I bought this domain here. Uh, if I go to domains, if I go to zone editor, which is where you wanna go, I bought this imsblog.net and I think it cost me $13 a year. Now, what you want to do if you're using a brand new domain is you want to create two different records within this zone editor. So the first one would be this at sign. Basically, what that means is if someone just types in imsblog.net, it's going to redirect them to Click Magic. So you would come up here, you would type at the at sign, leave this TTL alone. It's an A record, and then you would have point to this. 50.97.24.203. Now I got this by going to Tools, Domain Manager within Click Magic, and then you hit the Start here. And then it, you can scroll down and it'll tell you if you're creating an A record, which is what we just did, then you want to point them to this um, this IP, one of these two IP addresses right here. So that's where I got this. Now, if someone types in www imsblog.net, then I want to redirect them to this URL here. So the way I would do that is I would type in www 
and then I would have them create this as a C name and then it would point to I would just copy and paste this and add it there and then hit the add record now you have to give it about 30 minutes to an hour before click magic actually sees it so that's something to be aware of now that is one way you can add a domain a custom domain to click magic the other is a subdomain and a subdomain is for instance if I go back here I own this rec this domain it makes sense blog.com this is my main domain this is what I use for my blog let's say I wanted to create uh, a URL where it's tracking dot it makes sense blog.com so what I would do here is I would type in tracking this would be a C name and I want to point it to so I come back up here I would look for where I'm creating a subdomain and this is where I'm gonna do a subdomain I would copy this right here go back to my Bluehost and then I would add this record okay once you added that subdomain or your new domain into uh, Bluehost or whatever you use to get a domain or create a subdomain then you go back to click magic and you go back to this tools then you go to uh, domain manager <clears throat> and then you would come here and you would type in for instance let's do the tracking tracking it makes sense blog.com it's set up with a C name I want it for tracking links and then I'm gonna add this custom domain and then it adds it automatically now remember you have to wait about 30 minutes before click magic will actually see that subdomain or that new domain that you created but now that it's in here and once I've had success adding it now I can use this to track my affiliate links and anyone that going that goes to this tracking it makes sense blog.com will start to uh, will be redirected to click magic so that is the first thing you want to do before you start using click magic is to either buy a new domain or create a subdomain and a domain you already own now that you have your own domain the next thing you might want to consider and something that i recommend is creating what's called link groups and i'll show you what that is so for instance i'm on click magic i'll go to tools and then i'll go to where is it group manager now I have different products that I promote. For instance, I have Bluehost, I have ClickFunnels, I have some courses, I have email marketing, and then I have my own custom funnels. So under each of those sub those groups, I have different links. So I created these different groups that I want to put my links in. So it just makes it easier. For instance, if you have you're going to probably have over a hundred different links that you're going to add to click magic i like to be able to say okay i want to just know what my click funnel links are and that's how i do that i add them here so basically what you do is you would just let's say if i wanted to create a new group i would just click on new click on this little plus sign let's say i'm going to call this i'm just going to call this test and now i have this new link group created that's all you have to do and I'm gonna show you in a second why this is very helpful and I'll show you where this comes into play so now that you have a link group created now you want to start adding your links so you do that go to click magic go to links and as you can see here these are different links I have and right now I have the, all my click funnels uh, group this is my click funnel group and these are all my click funnel links so you can see if I just go to all link groups these are all the different links I have within click magic so this is a reason why I highly suggest that you create a link group now that I've created my link groups let's create our first link so what I want to do go back to the click magic hit create new link I'm gonna grab this affiliate link which is to copywriting secrets I'm using um, pretty links but I've switched everything over for pretty links to click magic because click magic has so much more functionality that I find useful so go back here I'm gonna paste this into this URL now I want to just call this copy test because I already have this in click uh, click magic and see right here usually it comes up with this domain that's um, part of click magic you want to change this to your custom domain that we created in the first step so I'm gonna change this to my custom domain and I'm gonna add this tracking URL 
So then I'm going to hit create link. So now if I come down here and I want to, let's copy this. Copy link tracking. If I come up to here and if I go to this link, it should take me to the copywriting secrets and it does. Now, one of the great things about, and if I go here now, I can see if I, re, if I refresh this, it'll show me that I had one total click on this link and I had one unique click. Unique click is just, it tracks, you know, like I'm a unique click. And if I were to click on this five more times, this would increase by five. However, this wouldn't increase because I'm not a unique click. I'm the same person coming from the same IP address. So that's the difference between this total click and um, UC, which is unique click. Now, one of the very cool things about click magic that I find is, one of the things you can do is that you can create what's called sub IDs. So for instance, let's say I have this affiliate link which takes me to the copywriting secrets um, page. However, I want to put this into YouTube. Well, what I can do is that I can hit the slash and I can hit YouTube. And then it'll take me still to this copywriting secrets. However, I will know that that click came from my YouTube channel. Likewise, if I wanted to create, uh, put this on my blog, I can just do slash blog and then it will take me back here, but I'll know that because I added that sub ID that it will, it came from my blog. So let's go back into click magic. Let's refresh this and let's go to the copy test. And if I click on sub ID stats, you can see right here, I had one click come from my blog and I had one click come from my YouTube channel. Now that to me is a very cool feature because now I can tell, okay, my blog post seems to be working. I want to either enhance this or promote this more, or this YouTube video is really working. What can I do to promote that YouTube video? And another thing you can keep adding more and more sub IDs. For instance, if I go to, um, if I go to, let's go back here and I can say YouTube slash the copywriting secrets um, review. I know that's pretty long, but that's a specific video. I don't have it, but I'm just making one up. I can hit enter. It'll still take me there. But if I go to click magic and refresh, go to the copy test, sub ID stats. Now I can see that this one video is giving me a lot of clicks. So that is a really cool feature of uh, click magic. Another feature of click magic is you can create uh, tracking pixels within your funnel. So for instance, if you have a bridge page and you want to track where different um, people are coming from and what conversions you're getting. For instance, my YouTube video is sending someone through this funnel and I'm getting a 10% conversion rate. Or I have the Pinterest pin that's sending someone to this funnel and I'm only getting a 5% conversion rate. You can do that by what's called um, creating a tracking pixel. Now you do that in Click Magic and you go to Tools and you go Tracking Pixel and you go Pixel Builder. So you, there's different things you can do. You can do it based on an action. So if someone, for instance, goes to your bridge page and they uh, opt in, they give you their email address, you would put this tracking pixel on the thank you page and that way it tracks that action that someone gave you their, um, their email address. Another thing you can do is engagements. I don't use that or sales. So if someone actually buys something, you can find out, you know, what YouTube video, what blog post, or what whatever Instagram post created that sale. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna show you a real quick example as an action. You would use the same thing for your sales or your engagements. So I'm just going to leave all these default. I'm just gonna do an action and then I'm going to copy and paste this tracking pixel. And then I'm actually gonna go into one of my 
uh, funnels, which is my free web course video uh, video course, and I want to create this tracking pixel. So let's go through an example. Um, I'm in Click Funnels. I'm on the thank you page for that funnel. I'm going to go to Edit Page. I'm going to go to Settings. I'm going to add tracking code, and I'm going to cut. Oh wait, one thing I forgot to show you. You want this to be a JavaScript code. So that was the first mistake I made. So let's copy this, and then go back and copy and paste this in there. So now I have that tracking code. So I want to save this and let me show you how this actually works. So if it, let's exit out. So let's go back to Click Magic. I'll show you the link that I'm going to be tracking. Um, it is, let's go to Link Group Funnels and it is my how to make a website funnel. As you can see right now, I don't have any actions which is under the A. Um, sales is for s under the S, so I don't have any clicks under the A because I haven't entered that tracking pixel quite yet. But let's go into this funnel and I'll show you how this works. So right here, I'm in my YouTube video, and this is my Click Magic um, link that I created. So if I go here, click on it, it'll take me to my opt-in page. I want to opt in. I'm going to add this email address, send access. And now I'm on my thank you page. So now if I go back to Click Magic and refresh, now you can see under here I have an action. And if I want to, I can go to this sub ID stats and I can see that that action came from my six ways video, which is this video here. So that is a really cool feature of Click Magic. I mean, that's how you can get really granular and really optimize your videos, your links, and this is where you can really learn where you want to spend your money because if this video is converting really well for me, then maybe I want to spend some money advertising this video or if you have, for instance, like a uh, Facebook ad that's converting really well, you want to spend more money on that. It's just, this is the power of Click Magic. Now the very last uh, thing that I love about Click Magic is I have, for instance, if I go to my funnels, I have my current funnel. And that is this link here. So this is a course that I'm promoting right now that I love that I take. And I'll leave a link down below that you can check it out. It tells you all about affiliate marketing. I have this link in all of my different YouTube videos, um, wherever I'm talking about affiliate marketing. Now I will add sub IDs so I'll know what specific video it came from. But let's say a year from now, I've pasted this same link within, I don't know, 500 videos or in 500 different blog posts. But let's say I come out with my own course. Well now I would have to go and spend all that time going and changing all those links. Well instead, all I have to do is come down here and just change the primary URL and it'll redirect me to whatever URL is in here. So now I don't have to spend the time to go chase down all and find out where did I have all those different links that pointed to this specific course. I can just change it one time under this primary URL and all 500 links have been changed. So that to me saves a lot of time is well worth uh, click magic. So that is Click Magic. Those are just the basic features of Click Magic. It does so much more, but we're not going to go through them because this video could be hours long and I don't want to do that. So I recommend going and to Click Magic and I'll leave a link down below and you can try Click Magic for 14 days free. Now, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up so I know to create more videos like this. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing as I'm creating new videos all the time on affiliate marketing, how to create an online business, passive income, and leave a comment down below and let me know if you've tried Click Magic and if you like it or if there's other products out there that you think might be better. Um, and with that, I will see you guys on the next video. Okay. That's where you would add, um, okay, let me go back because I screwed that up. Okay. So um, if you're new, okay.